Yesterday, I had a bit of a breakdown. Um, I definitely was PMSing, and I think that was like the main thing. But I just literally like cried so much, and I didn't really have a reason to. Like, nothing's wrong except for our lockdown. But like, my life is great. I have great people. I have a beautiful home. I have a good job. I get to do YouTube. Like, everything is good. It just. I just felt so sad and I didn't know why but luckily I woke up feeling so much better today and I just thought I would take you guys along on like a day of me trying to stay productive but also give myself rest and just what I'm doing to like stay sane honestly in quarantine so I've actually done something kind of crazy and I've started journaling which I have tried to journal on and off throughout the years and I've just never been able to like be consistent with it I've also never really seen the benefits because I kind of thought that journaling had to be like more of a story and like I was writing it as if I was gonna read back on it so I was just like hyper conscious of everything that I said but I literally just got this like very basic notebook from my grocery store and I basically just write the date up here and then I write down how I'm feeling um, so yesterday I was like I feel so tired and I'm motivated today and then I said what I was grateful for and then if I'm in the mood I'll write down some things that I'm like currently manifesting so I'm gonna do that and I always light a little mini candle when I do this because it just makes me feel truly like a wholesome queen and I've always thought that journaling and having mornings like this were unattainable but it literally takes two minutes and I really enjoy it. I feel so good having done that. Honestly, just writing out like what you're grateful for and things that you have to look forward to can really help, especially if you're in a lockdown that is never ending. So next, I'm actually trying to get back into like my planner. Um, I feel like I told you guys this in a previous vlog, but literally I bought this in February and then March onwards is just completely empty i'm really keen to get back into this because this is called a passion planner and it's made specifically for like creative people people who have like side hustles and passion projects and that kind of thing today is saturday 24th and my priority is depop it's kind of a huge deal um actually but i'm collaborating with depop on a video which is insane um so i have to film um just some parts of that today like the parts where I get to choose out all of the clothes and stuff my energy is kind of low but I am going to try and film the intro because I need to order these clothes so that is like priority number one on my to-do list today I also need to finish editing my um, closet clean out I'm gonna put that in my to-do list oh my god I spelled edit wrong so that I can tick it off what I spelled video wrong too what the f before I get to all of that work stuff that I need to do today, I'm actually on my yoga mat and I'm just going to stretch out because I did a Instagram live Pilates class this morning. Oh my god, my neighbors. I'm actually going to kill them. This girl who I like was friends with in college, she does pilates instagram lives and it's actually so good like it's free and she's amazing so i did that this morning i'm not gonna lie to you guys i did give up halfway through but i'm so proud that i even did like 30 minutes of exercise but i didn't get to stretch out because i didn't stay for the whole class so i'm gonna stretch here and while i do that i have received a bunch of video diaries from my friend Jem, and i'm gonna respond to her now and just send some videos while i stretch good morning happy saturday i just felt so sad yesterday i feel like i texted you that i just finished stretching honestly i gave up stretching like halfway through that but i sent videos to my friend Jem, and then i also had some voice messages from my other friend christina so i just chatted to both of them which was so nice i do feel so much better just always talking to friends this place is an absolute mess even like look in my office like it's just oh such a mess. I would love to say that I will clean today, but I just don't think that I will. Time for breakfast. Avo toast, same as every single day of my life. How are you going? I'm doing alright. It's just like 
no end. Like, there's no end date, so it's just very frustrating to keep hearing it being pushed back and just gotta make the most of it, but it is very just like unsettling to not know what the future holds even in the next week, two weeks, three. Like, you can't really plan anything because it's just yeah never ending. I just got very, very electric shocked. Ow! By my hair straightener and now I'm very scared to touch it. My hair straightener is like years old and there's a, there's a hole in the wire and I really need to get a new one. Wow, that was insane. For me, if I'm ever really stressed or really sad, the first thing that tends to go is like, personal hygiene um i'll always shower but like yesterday i didn't shower or brush my teeth until like late afternoon and honestly it does just make such a difference when you are able to get into the shower in the morning i think it just starts off your day really well i mean to be fair it's 12 37 so it's not really the morning anymore um but i still feel so good just having done that I feel fresh, I feel clean. I'm just gonna get ready to film this video. Um, the reason why it's now 20 to one is because I just had to plan out a bunch of outfits for this Depop video. Also guys, at the moment, I really wanna go brunette and it's one of those things where like, I know that if I went brunette, I would wanna go back to blonde. Like you do always just want what you can't have, but I really, want to get a box dye and just go brunette and see what happens. The thing is though, I know how hard it is to go back to being blonde, um, but I kind of want to just do it because why not? I'm young and fun and fresh, you know? My concealer is honestly too dark for my face at this point because I'm like in winter, but it's, uh, it's August. We're almost coming out of winter. I just don't, it seems like a waste of money to buy another shade when you can only use it for half of the year. This is my outfit today. I actually love it so much. Um, probably I love it more than usual because it's not track pants, which I have been wearing quite a lot. But it's this beautiful shirt that I thrifted from Salvos um, in one of my thrifting videos. This little um, white tank top and then these jeans are from Glassons. And it's just such a like off-duty mum kind of look and I just honestly love it um, also this is the aftermath of my Depop stuff anyways now I'm ready to film um, I actually am just trying to figure out where I'm gonna film I think I'm gonna film the intro on the couch this is literally the dream video I get to just sit on my couch all right I'm done with that that actually took me quite a while i think it's now like 10 past two um i was just really overthinking what i was saying i think just because this is literally my first ever like it's not a brand deal but like a collaboration and i just had to incorporate a couple of points and i just felt like i was doing it wrong or like I didn't want to sound like I was trying to sell you guys on anything. Yeah, I really was overthinking it, but I feel like I got it. Honestly, this happens to me every single time I film literally any video, but I will, right after filming, I'm like, that was the worst thing I've ever filmed. I hate it. I'm deleting the whole thing. I'm going to have to redo it. But then the second that I actually sit down and like edit it, it's 100% fine. And it's just like a mindset thing for me. Yeah, it's just very, very funny how much I overthink things. So let me know if you're also an overthinker or if it's just me but now i'm going to um pack up this camera my office is just next door so i'm just gonna zip through and put all those files onto my computer i can't get over how messy this room is like it's just it's really really bad <laughs> but and even just my desk like look at that i get really affected when my space isn't clean i don't know about you guys but like I literally will look at a room and start crying because it's so messy and I feel so overwhelmed. So I really do need to try and tidy this up if I can. I might just do like a two minute tidy of my desk right now so that I can work comfortably. All right, that was literally a two minute clean. Um, it's not even that clean, <laughs> but it's fine for me for now. I just needed somewhere to actually like rest my hands on my desk. First things first, I'm gonna tick off Depop intro on my to-do list because I did it and I, that gives me a little bit of serotonin. 
on these serotoninless days. All right, guys, it's 3.38. I did this for, <laughs> oh my God, look at my face. Um, I did this for a bit longer than I was expecting, but that's totally fine. I just want to make sure that I'm releasing videos that I'm genuinely proud of and I really like this one. I hope you guys like it as well. I am exporting this now and I'm just going to look at my thumbnail compared to a couple of other closet clean out thumbnails. The reason I do this with most of my videos is because I do want my thumbnail to stand out against other people. So I just want to make sure that I'm making a good thumbnail that um, people want to click on. So this is what I've done, but now that I'm looking at the other ones, I'm thinking maybe it's not good enough. I don't know, honestly, it's so hard to know. All right, this is what I landed on and I've just uploaded the video. I literally have one minute until the Olympic starts, so Hurry up! Guys, there are, there's a fucking protest in Sydney. Like, protesting the lockdown. Look at the length of it here, wait. This is so fucked up. We won the water polo, which is very, very exciting. Um, but, yeah, just got the news that we... There's like a massive anti-lockdown protest going on in Sydney. They're all protesting with no masks on. The whole thing is just a little bit disappointing. That's pretty much as clean as it's gonna get right now. Um, I do want to quickly watch through the footage that I took today. Okay, I was just here working and look at the moon. Oh my God, look at that. Sorry, the kitchen lights kind of distract from it, but look at that moon. Ah, It's gotta be a full moon tonight. Maybe that's why I was so emotional yesterday. I would say that everything that could have gone wrong during that shoot went wrong. I kind of nailed it, like I did fine, but my microphone was like down here and whenever I moved my arm, it rustled the microphone, which I'm just kicking myself that that happened. That was so stupid. And just scroll through the fresh from today section. This is like, I think I've worked around it. Um, originally I was like, oh my God, I'm literally gonna have to reshoot. Of course this happens. Um, but I think it'll be fine. And then also I was screen recording the whole process of me buying items and stuff. And that has just disappeared from the face of the earth. I just got into this room to get changed and look at this. I forgot about it and I'm sad. All done. Now I can finally get out of my clothes and put on my track pants. This is literally my favorite part of the day. Look at my bum in these pants. Literally like, <laughs> this is what people don't show you on YouTube. I feel like everyone wears these matching You'll tracks. You'll need to unlock your iPhone first. What did I do? <laughs> show me a pair of track pants in which your butt looks good. Nothing? Didn't think so. I truly wish that I liked cooking, but I just don't. I wasn't born with that gene. I'm not good at it. I don't enjoy it. Maybe I would enjoy it more if I was better at it. I don't know. A tip that I have figured out during lockdown is that when I can incentivize myself to do something that I don't like by doing something that I like at the same time, it really helps. So what I do now is I have this iPad and I have these massive headphones and in order to cook and stay sane while I do it, I will literally put these on, put on an episode of Gilmore Girls or watch a YouTube video and just like escape into that world and I go into this like meditative state while I'm cooking and it, the time just flies by. So if you guys don't like cooking, chuck on like your phone or your laptop or an iPad and just watch like a show that you love and it honestly makes it so much more bearable. I don't know why I didn't do this sooner. It's actually a game changer. So I'm gonna watch some Gilmore Girls and cook dinner. Oh my God, guys, this morning I was putting away, or maybe it was this afternoon, 
whatever i was putting away the washing and i put the tupperware which usually goes in this drawer i put it in the microwave am i okay that is so funny that flew by we're having mexican i feel like whenever i vlog we eat mexican we are going to demolish this we're currently watching a series on netflix called wild wild country it's so good it's about this cult and it's literally amazing if you love like a true crime but you don't like anything scary then i highly recommend this it hasn't been scary so far hope you're well sending you love and i will see you next week